Hope Summers is a new season pass card, but is she worth the hype? Her ability is very similar to Angela's, but instead of power, you gain energy. Plus one energy is a lot more valuable than plus one power. You can activate her multiple times per turn, letting you have a lot of energy the following turn. But managing board space can be a problem. I did try her out of Beast, but unfortunately, he did not trigger her ability. Cards that work great with Hope Summers are the ones that let you play into her location without clogging it, like Kitty Pride, Jeff, Vision, Hulkbuster, Spider-Man, and the Goblins. She actually has very few counters, as typical tech cards like Shadow King, Enchantress, Cosmo, or Shang-Chi will not do anything to her. But there are other ways your opponent can screw you up, for example with Goblins to clog your location, or movement cards like Spider-Man and Stagron to move her away, control cards like Professor X and Dr. Octopus, and of course, there's always Lady Deathstrike. The deck I wanted to feature today is a variation on Silky Smooth because he already has so many cards that work beautifully with Hope. It's been a while since I've seen Kitty Pride, and I really wanted to bring her back into the meta. She works really, really well with Hope, pretty much guaranteeing that you can play her again next turn. She basically pays for herself while also gaining power at the same time. And of course, cards like Jeff and Vision work super well with Hope, allowing you to keep that location not clogged while also gaining energy. And if we manage to play Angela or Elsa in Hope's location, that's just the extra cherry on on top of the existing tasty cake. And I do hope that Elsa buff is coming soon. She desperately needs it. I think I just put it on the left, honestly. I don't want to put it in the middle because in case I want to play the Mobius out. The song did not just say don't lose hope, did it? Not the end of the world. Probably, you know. Won't be surprised. Honestly, I don't know if I want to um, play Mobius out now. I could play Angela and Pig next turn vision. No, I have to get the uh, Mobius out this turn if I want to play it. And now my pig is zero. That's pretty nice. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Prepare to be picked again. That's why I'm not playing the pig. Because they're gonna pick me again. Black Swan with Mobius? Are you being silly? They're being silly. Nice. So we lose initiative as well. It's okay, you can do it, kitty. I believe... Are we trying to go for right side? Where's the biggest I can be? To make the silk go back to the left? I don't know if they're actually gonna go for left. They might do with a big monkey. But how big is the monkey gonna be? Oh! Monkey in the middle? Well, this is easy win, no? Did we do it? We did do it! We got for the shot! We did it! We finally did it! Victory. The raft is really good for us. And we have Hope and Angela. Okay. This could be the game, chat. I should play, probably play this. Oh, I'll, I'll put him on the left.
Oh yeah, we get it this turn. Should I play um, Hope first? Or should I go for Power? I think Power is better. I honestly don't need that much energy. I mean, we have Elysium. Mm. Oh my god! How did I do that? I have Mobius! That's one. That's zero. Oh, they had Wasp. But then they lost on the left for sure, no? Also, why are you trying to so hard to fight for Raft when I have Mobius on board, you silly goose? Falcon? Yeah, they probably do have Falcon. I don't need to play the silk. I guess I could. I don't think they have Falcon, you know? If they do, I don't think they will play it. I feel like I should wait to play her. If I play her now, they're 100% retreating. Let's just leave it for now. I'm gonna sit. Give them hope. Okay. Right. This could be the real Mysterio, which I think it is. So I think we just move this here and we're fine. Or I could fill up the right side. I can't actually. Oh, I guess I could. And this will go right and this will go middle. I don't really need to do that though, do I? I can just do this, but then the silk will move, which is annoying. If I want to get the Elsa buff. I don't know what to do here. I think I'll just do this. Silk will go left. Play Elsa left. Alright. What a waste of my time. Dude, just retreat. I'm never gonna retreat. Again, no hope. No hope, no prospects. Oh my god, we actually got hope. Alright, I'm not gonna snap because I want them to stay. She does exist, chat. Ideally, I want to buff the... I guess this is okay. Next turn, we have uh, six, seven power. Can't even play that many things, man. I guess I can move the Jeff next turn.
I'm a little bit scared to play Silk. I think I'll just sit for now. Oh, maybe I should just uh, not go for right side. But this is the biggest I can be, to be honest, with the right side. I'm just worried they're gonna. Ah, oh, no, they're gonna do. They're not gonna do it this this uh, this turn. I was worried they're going to Reality Stone, but they're not gonna do it on turn five, are they? Spider-Man here. Oh, good. Nice. Clock them on the right. But this also means that they can't uh, reality stone the right side. Dazzler. There's no way they don't play in the middle. And if Silk goes right, we always win the right side. It's very unlikely they don't play in the middle. Come back! Victory. <gasps> she is here. Oh my god, look. She exists. I think this could be, um... Galactus. No, if it's Galactus, why are you playing it on the right? It's a bit silly, no? <laughs> okay, that was good. actually wrecked but uh, they probably have a nihilus of their own to be honest enough of the bloody goblins oh shit ass crap shoot oh no oh no chat i think i lost See if they play in the middle. Maybe they're stupid. <laughs> Maybe they're stupid. You never know. They're not stupid. Dang it. Why can't they be stupid? <laughs> Maybe they didn't draw the Annihilus. It's possible. They're not snapping, so... Maybe they didn't draw the Annihilus. You know? Run. It's only one cube. Doesn't really matter. It's probably just this. They didn't draw him! I knew it! Nice goblins though. Overall, Hope Summers felt really strong to me. She is a much better season pass card than Black Swan. I tried her in a bunch of decks, including Sandman Galactus as an extra ramp card, and also in Thanos, and she worked beautifully in both of them. If you're on the fence about the season pass, All my advice go. is to get it. It's still the best way to spend your money in this game, and I think Hope Summers is worth it as well. The non-season pass card coming out today is Pixie. Make sure to check out my video on her. She is a super fun card to play. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. As always, don't forget to interact with the video in any way. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. So make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will also be streaming the new season on Twitch. So if you're an early bird, you might still catch me live. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!